Let's see, what caliber is it in? 45. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Let's get some 45 ammo and try it out. And test fire. Beautiful. Okay, coming around. Let's check it out. Cut my pit boy light off. Look at that model. Outstanding. Freeze, motherfucker! Oh, yeah. Count the shells, motherfucker. Alright. That's enough fun. That might be a keeper. Count the shells. I mean, not the most practical weapon, but... I'll be damned if it did most fun. How much ammo did I just burn through? Let's check it out. <laughs> I almost burned through what? Uh, about 200 rounds. Let's just shoot them all. Maybe I'm getting, maybe I'm having too much fun. Hot stuff, hot stuff. And look at all the shells there that stay on the ground, just like shell rain. So you can actually count the shells if you want. Of brass. Okay. It's not tagged, so that's something I have to do, and it's not patched either. For better locational damage, two things that I have to bear in mind. It does shoot 556, five, so let's try it out. Beautiful looking model. Semi automatic. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to be using this. Gonna have to get it patched for better locational damage, but it is tight. And iron sights to see. That'll work. And we'll check the reload animation. Alright, that's hotter than hell in July. Alright, so you got an RU556, it is tagged and automatic. Yeah, it's a badass looking thing, isn't it? Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, that is triple degree badass. Let's fire it. Okay, here's the model. It's like a little short barrel, uh, a little short carbine. I just stepped out of a movie. But not a lot of climb on the gun either. I like that. Alright, let's check the iron sights. Very, very nice. Just a moment. Or right on the recoil and everything. Okay. It's a moving fire. Let's try it. 
sure I running and fire. Alright. Beautiful, beautiful. Now let's see where we are with it. Okay, it needs to be tagged. It is in 10 millimeter. Great looking model. Very nice. And test fire. Got plenty of climb on it. Check the iron sights. Beautiful reload action. It's going to be hard to keep it on target. I keep bringing it back down. But uh, I like things that are not OP, so we've got an option there. Okay, we've got an automatic scoped AUG. It is tagged. It is apparently not patched for better locational damage, but it could be with um, an automatic receiver at 20. I'll have to check on that. Range, accuracy, everything else looks right. We got 373 um, 556 rounds to shoot, so let's play with this a second. Okay. All right. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, I don't know if it's going to be the short barrel carbine or this. Screw and chew right there. All right. And we'll take a look down the scope. Got climb, but I can handle it. Fun. All right, so we've got an automatic 10 millimeter submachine gun straight out of Fallout 3. A powerful automatic receiver. Nice rusty worn texture. It is not tagged. I mean it's tagged uh, at the end but it's not eye contact. Not a big deal. Straight out of Fallout 3. Let's see how it operates. Ooh, that fires quick. Big magazine on it. Let's toggle that HUD on and see how oh, oh, 40 rounds to a magazine, so that's that's why. Yeah, let's see what behind the sights look like. So that's got a nice big clip 40 round magazine. Cells. What in the fuck? This is looking pretty damn cool. Look at the range on that bad boy and the accuracy at seven seven and uh point six pounds. Looks like it takes a standard fusion cell. Look at that model. Alright, let's grab a couple fusion cells and see what we can make of this. Let's see what we have here. model looks great. Oh, feels great. And I haven't even fired it yet. Oh my goodness. Now. How much fun could this be? It has virtually no climb. Let's see what we have here. 
model looks great. Oh, feels great. And I haven't even fired it yet. Oh my goodness. Now. How much fun could this be? It has virtually no climb. Because it's a force and energy weapon. Let's see what behind the scope looks like. That should have a custom scope on this now. Optical sight four times. So I might have to move some things around in my load order to make sure that um, my um, see-through scopes needs to go higher in my load order. That's the kind of stuff I, you got to watch for. Look at how it even loads from the top. How brilliant. Alright, the hole puncher, huh? 556. Five, With a standard receiver. Looks very cool. 9 pounds. Let's try it out. Nice quiet. Does it have a suppressor on it? Nope. It's just a quieter weapon. hole puncher because it's so deadly freaking accurate because that's that is extremely accurate at that range it says 74 but the range is 276 so um that's well, something that you always need to take in consideration especially when you're using tight iron sights like these i mean that looks doable Looks like it's penetrating straight through that sign, too. Let's see what happens if we spawn maybe an automatic variant. And I think this takes a um, 12.7 millimeter, or maybe even a 16 millimeter. Uh, 14 and a half, that's bigger than 50 caliber. Holy crap. This this is the weapon I'm looking for, to, you know, if I'm trying to drop power armor. Check the model out. Oh yeah, big and bad. Alright, what we got, what we got. The sucker is so big and bad. Wow. Did you hear that shell casing hit the water? <laughs> oh, wow. That'll do it. That will indeed do it. Check my HUD and see how many rounds it has. It's a five round magazine. Let's target this stop and it's going to jump to the sky. Oof. That is sexy. That's just, I guess, uh, something I'm going to have to find later in the game, because that's just a little bit too good. Powerful and scoped. 
firing in 308. I don't really, I'm not really wild about it. I'll recon scope, but let's just see what we get here. Okay, so my um, see-through scopes is not working properly. Now it's deadly accurate, supposedly. Love the bolt action. Alright, sweetheart, get down on it. Now it's supposed to be precise all the way out to the point where I can't see anymore. Let's check and see what kind of magazine capacity we have here. Five shots, or the fact that I just don't have any more ammo than that. Let's grab a little more 308 for the test. Ten round magazine. Interesting uh, running fire from the hip, from the shoulder. Bring it, bring it back around here. Okay. Let's get rid of that HUD. Alright, let's test this. It's about right for 50. Because um this is the a new variant. It's much more stable, much more solid. And we'll check the reload. Now that's what a 50 caliber should be. 